everyone, so welcome back to this week's video and I've not done this in so long. My last test in Primark video went so well so I'm here to do another one and I'm just testing out an eyeshadow palette. And this one is the PS Nude Addiction and it was only £3 and I just picked it up because I thought I'm just going to try it. I was looking for the, it's more like a ready version but I did buy this if, like a month or so ago so I don't know if they still do them they've probably brought a whole new palette range out by now but I really wanted to just try it on camera for you and explain that it's £3 and it's actually quite good so I'm really impressed with it I think it's sort of a dupe of the Huda beauty palettes and that's what it, it is a bit dirty because I have used it, I've tried it out a few times before I filmed this video just so I could probably talk about how I feel about it so all of them are actually named on this very clear you're not going to be able to see it from there but it's a clear plastic and it's got all the names on it it's a bit annoying because you have to keep taking it off and on and it's really dirty at the moment but you've got so you've got five sort of metallic shimmery shades and then you've got four matte shades which are really quite matte. They are really pigmented when you first put them on your eye but once you blend them in the colours sort of disappear. So I think I should have like wet my brush just to get more of the product on there but for £3 it's pretty I really love Primark makeup. I've got a Primark lipstick on at the moment and a lip liner and then I always love that eyeshadows. I've never tried their foundation because my skin's a bit sensitive and I don't really like buying cheaper foundations just in case it completely just reacts to it. So anyway, this one's the nude addiction. I think they do like a cool toned one and it's got purples silvers in it and then there's a red one which has got red, reds, oranges in it but I picked up the nude one because I couldn't find any of the others but it's got quite warm tones in it anyway so I am just gonna, this is it on, I've got it on at the moment but I've sort of filmed like how I've done it Um. so yeah I'm just gonna show you how I did it now so at the moment I'm quite zoomed in and so this is just a closer look at the palette. So it's the Nude Addiction one from Primark and it's got a little like, it is really dirty because I've tried like a few looks before I do this video. So it's got like a plastic sheet and it's got all the names of everything. It's really hard to sort of focus and show you but it's sort of, it just sat on top of it there and it told you what everything is. So first, I always start with the lightest shade. So you've got a matte shade here, it's matte, and then the shimmery version here. I can't tell if it's focused or not because the light is so bright. Okay, so that's the matte version and that's the shimmery version. So I'm gonna go in with the matte version first. So I'm gonna put that all over the lid, as you can tell, it's quite pale um, so it's quite a grey a sort of pale beige colour then I'm going to go in with the shimmer version and just go over the whole lid this is a bit more cool tone, it's like a silvery taupe colour. And I... I'm trying to hold so many things at once, okay? Then I'm going to go in with colour here and it's like a peachy brown colour just to start warming up the crease in my eye. So I'm just putting that into the corner and then brushing it out to the crease and then blending it upwards. And the same with this eye. I 
and they are really quite pigmented like I'm not putting a lot on my brush and they are really pigmented and they blend really well together So then I'm going to take that underneath the eye as well, just while I've got a little bit left on my brush, just to sort of smudge it out. I'm going to use a bigger fluffier brush and I'm going to go in with this brown shade which is in the corner down here. It's got a slight shimmer to it but it's not really metallic-y. So I'm just going to go in with that and then add that into the crease here and again blend it from the corner into the crease and what I've noticed as well that there is hardly any fallout underneath the eye as well even when I'm using this dark colour there still isn't any fallout underneath the eye Then I'm also going to put it into here, just darken this area up and then blend it into the crease again, just so it's a little bit darker there. And then with like a smudge sort of brush I'm going to go in with the really dark, it's like a purpley colour here and then I'm also going to use this colour as well just to darken all the corners up and along the lash line and as well underneath I could probably go a little bit darker with a fluffy brush so that's what I'm going to do and hopefully it doesn't go really wrong Then I am going to go in with this shimmery bronze sort of shade up here and I'm going to put that in the middle of the eye. And then this is the finished look. So thank you so much for watching this sort of testing video. If you think I should do more or if you've got any ideas that anyone watches my videos, I don't know who watches, I don't think there's many, but if you've got any recommendations about testing makeup then put them in the comments below. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!